Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the 97070 Show. I'm your host, Peyton. Wilsonville High School is putting together study groups every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 2 to 3 to help you guys. Be sure to check your email for the Zoom link. And now, let's head over to Brian for some sports updates. Hey everybody and welcome back to another week of the sports section of the 97070 show. This week we've got some extra special, ginormous, astronomical news for you. In the sense that early in the week there was a memo released by the OSAA which details a new return to play plan which will be enacted this coming Monday. Yes, you heard it correctly. Sports are starting up again. And no, they're not in full capacity yet. But the OSA sanctioned sports for season one and the activities, which include speech and debate, choir and band, will begin as soon as Monday afternoon. Some particulars include a proper social distancing and face mask requirement, along with only 80 people are allowed at school at the same time, and those 80 will be broken up into groups of about 10 to carry out their conditioning, training, and limited play. So that's what we have for you thus far on that end. But uh, as we move to the Wildcat Open, there are two new teams that will be playing in the golf tournament that benefits the boys varsity basketball team, which will take place on October 24th. The first new player is Kaysen Dougal, one of our own and a starter on the boys varsity basketball team. <clears throat> He'll be uh, under the alias of Carl the Porcupine during this tournament. And the second player that's now in this Wildcat Open, the 7th annual, is yours truly, that's right, b Rec, the broadcaster, Brian Rector, coming to you live. I'll be playing in the tournament along as um, I will be also carrying out on-course interviews and coverage, which we'll bring to you on that Saturday about a month from now. That's all I've got for today, but thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Brian. The speech and debate team is up and running again. Make sure to join the Google Classroom if you're interested in participating. And now, let's head over to Kate for some more information on how NHS will be running this year. Thanks, Peyton. It's Kate here from WBN to talk about the changes to NHS this year. Firstly, NHS will mostly be centered in Google Classroom and Zoom this year. If you need help getting into Google Classroom, you can contact Ms. Edsel or Ms. Robbins to get you situated. Secondly, the biggest change to NHS this year is going to be the hours. Usually you complete 20 hours for NHS. However, this year you only need to complete 15 hours and only one of those activities needs to be an NHS sponsored event, which is quite different from the years prior. If you need to pick up an NHS hour sheet, you can pick those up starting next Tuesday during those textbook pickup times. Lastly, a big change to NHS this year is the officer titles. Officers will be having actual titles this year like president, vice president, etc. If you would like to be considered for an officer position this year, you need to go to Google Classroom and fill out that officer Google form quickly because on October 14th, inducted members will be having a Zoom to decide who our officers for this year will be. Thanks, NHS members. Thanks, Kate, and thank you everyone for watching. Stay classy, Wildcats.